watching Bench Talk with Beard brought to you by Southwest Bank. I'm Taylor Peters alongside the head man himself, head coach Chris Beard. Coach, a huge congratulations in order for you, and I know you're really busy, so I appreciate your time. Can you just tell us sort of, you know, where you guys are at? Obviously an incredible uh, moment for your team as you advance to the Sweet 16, but I know that you are rock solid focused right now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there'll be time later on to reflect on all the great things that have happened, but the bottom line is here, we got a 40 minute basketball game on Friday and we just got to continue to do the things that got us to this point. And you talked about last week, the mentality just, hey guys, this is just a four team tournament right now. Is that sort of the mentality as you head on into the Sweet 16? Yeah, exactly. So uh, now we're going to Boston and it's another four team tournament. We got to win two games in this tournament to advance. Certainly the toughest game in any tournament is the first game. And so we know we're going to have to play our best game of the year to have a chance to beat Purdue. I know that a lot of times it's the flashy plays, it's the 360 dunks that make the, the cover, they make the headline, but I think right now we're going to see a lot of teams who do the small things right. How do you feel like your team sort of executed in the details last weekend? Um, just like we told the guys all along, we're going to have to play our best basketball in March, and I think in a lot of ways we're doing that. Uh, in Dallas, we had two low turnover games. We rebounded the ball well. Um, so certainly, um, we got to have some guys making some plays. you got to do some special things, but the base of your execution has to be your identity. And for us, it's defense and taking care of the ball. And Coach, I'll be honest. I was able to uh, watch that game from the comfort of my own home, and I could just feel the electricity of the crowd uh, as I'm jumping up in front of my TV screen. Can you just attest to um, having a true home court advantage on the road? Yeah, it was a special deal. I didn't really uh, think about it much until we actually got there and then walking out onto the court when we played Stephen F. Austin, just seeing so much red and black. You know, in a lot of ways, it was a home game. Um, I think you got to give our players all the credit. They're the ones that have had the great season that allowed us to have the seed that the NCAA gave us uh, a chance to go to Dallas. So it was special. Well, and another special moment, too, obviously, as the time runs out and you know that the dream of being a Sweet 16 team is being realized. And you celebrate with your team and you celebrate with your coaches, but to have your three daughters there rush the court and be one of the first few people by your side, I mean, what is that moment like for you as a dad? Yeah, it was really cool. I mean, most games I normally look for them in the stands after, um, but this game they were on the court before I think I even had a chance to, to shake Coach White's hand. So. Um, that was really cool. Incredible moment for you as a dad, as a coach. Best of luck to you all as you head off to Boston. Thank you. Thanks so much, Coach. Texas Tech will face off against Purdue in the first game of the Sweet 16. Tip-off slated for 8.57 on TBS.